The scorch marker is a wood burning craft marker. All you have to do is draw on wood, apply heat, and you can watch your design burn right into the wood before your eyes. Let's burn this sunflower design into this piece of wood using a stencil and our scorch marker. The first thing that we have to do is make sure that our surface is nice and smooth. We want the stencil to stick, so it's important to grab something like a sanding block and sand in a circular motion so we can get the surface nice and clean. All right, that looks good to me. Let's blow off some of that dust and wipe it away. You can see there's a lot that came off there. Now that our wood is nice and smooth, we can grab our stencil and we can apply it to the wood. Peel off the white backing and expose the sticky stencil underneath. Look how easy that was. And then we'll flip our stencil around and push it down right into the middle. Now it's really important when pressing down on your stencil to work from the inside out towards the edges. That way you don't get any creases. Feel free to use a scraping tool if you have one. But sometimes I like to use my fingers. When you have the stencil applied, it's gonna look just like this. All right, now it's time to take off the clear transfer paper. All right, now it's time for the fun part. Let me show you how this marker works. If you look, it has two caps. The first one is a bullet tip and the second end is an unscrewable foam brush. Feel free to dip a paintbrush in there. But today we're gonna focus on this tip. The first thing that you wanna do is press it down on a paper towel, just like this, so that ink can flow through the valve into the tip of the marker. This is called priming. It's an essential step for every single one of our markers. And then you can dab away some of the excess, just like that. We're ready to go. Let's start filling in our design. When filling in your design with your scorch marker, a little goes a long way. You don't have to use a ton of liquid. In fact, you only need to just barely cover the surface. You see, when we apply heat to this liquid, it reacts with the wood below it and will actually burn into the surface. The more heat you apply, the darker the burn will be. But until then, it's gonna look red just like this. We put a red dye into our liquid so you can see where it was that you've drawn already. All right, we have our design completely filled in, so let's cap up our scorch marker and set it aside. Now we're gonna remove this stencil just by peeling it up. We liked to use a high quality vinyl with our stencils, and so we made sure it was really easy to take it off. Look how clean that design looks. The next step in the process is in my opinion, the most fun. We're gonna use a heat gun to apply heat to the surface of this wood slice. And you're gonna watch our design burn right in. Now, before we get started, I wanna talk about heat guns really quick. This is an industrial style heat gun, the kind of heat gun that we sell for use with our scorch markers because it gets hot enough. This is an embossing heat gun. Unfortunately, embossing heat guns they just don't get hot enough, so we can't use one of these. You have to have a heat gun that looks like this. The hotter, the better. We're gonna go ahead and turn this on and start applying some heat and watch what happens to the surface of this wood. Awesome, that looks great. Now please be careful because your wood slice is gonna be really hot and we wanna make sure that you don't burn your fingers. Now, if you look closely, you can see the design burned right into the surface of the wood. It looks great. Now the burn on this type of wood is gonna be deep enough to be permanent, but shallow enough that you could sand it away if you make a mistake or you wanna start over. A lot of people like to finish their wood projects. We do too. You can use any wood finish you like including our non-toxic scorch marker wood finish. While we're here, let me answer a few more quick questions. You can use any heat source that will get to above 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You can put your wood slices in a toaster oven, a broiler, you can use a torch, a lighter, an open flame, or even a magnifying glass in some cases. But you do have to apply heat. And we know that an embossing heat gun and a hair dryer just don't get hot enough until we release our new formula. I promise it's coming out soon. 
If you like this type of craft project and you're really interested in what we have going on, I highly recommend that you join our Facebook group for super fans. That way we can communicate directly with you, get your feedback on some of our new products and send you some free stuff. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to help at scorchmarker.com or shoot us a DM on social media. Happy crafting.